For the last half century, plastic has become an integral part of our daily life. As we know, plastic is not biodegradable. According to estimates, from 1950 to 2018, approximately 6.3 billion tons of plastic has been produced worldwide. And currently, 380 metric tons of plastic is being produced each year. Plastic, combined with the industrial, agricultural, and urban waste pollution fueling the algae explosion, causes oxygen deficiency, resulting in the death of marine life. With sustained pollution, this created dead zones which exist on 400 locations around the globe. Waterlogging is a severe problem in Taka, the capital city of Bangladesh. In monsoons, it faces waterlogging in medium rainfall, and the situation goes beyond control. In the case of heavy rainfall, it drowns the city underwater for days. The only catalyst for this situation is polythene, which blocks the drainage system for years as it is not naturally degradable. In fact, the severity led the government to formulate the Environment Conservation Act in 1995. Later on, one of the sections was revised of this act, strictly banning the production and use of 20 micron thick polyethylene shopping bags from January 1st, 2002. Despite this, the use of polythene continued illegally because of the unavailability of a sustainable alternative. Surely banning without ensuring a sustainable alternative cannot be a solution. To address this problem, a Bangladeshi scientist was looking for a unique, environmentally friendly solution. Thus, Dr. Mubarak Ahmed Khan came up with a unique innovation with his 18 years of extensive research, the Sonali bag, a poly bag made from jute, which is completely biodegradable. So we're gonna use this uh, jute as a whole, but presently we are using the jute dust, which is uh, mill waste, we can say. So this jute dust is collected and we can bleached it and then we dry the jute dust and this dry jute dust we can prepare the cellulose. This is cellulose so we can wash it running water. Here's the important factor so we have to neutralize this cellulose so no more alkaline inside this cellulose it should be pH 7. Then we prepare the water soluble cellulose is mixed with another binders and some other crosslinkers and chemicals additives and then we put into the reaction tank. In this reaction tank we can maintain the temperature and pressure to complete the whole reaction and after that this solution is collected and put onto the conveyor belt of dryer. In this dryer we can use uh, the thickness cause, we can control the thickness of the belt and after drying we can prepare the fill. We can control the thickness as well as we can control the cost leaking density, which is actually depends on the time degradable product. The product is environment friendly as well as the process is also environment friendly. Jute is abundant in Bangladesh, this one factor. Second is the jute contains the highest number of cellulose. This is around 65 to 70 percent cellulose content and never you can find any plant those who contain in this such amount of cellulose. From the day one, the, from the cultivation, it takes only 90 days or 90, 100 days. On the other hand, from the tree, you get only 32 32% cellulose, but it takes around 15 years to mature the tree. This is the beauty of jute. Jute, the magical plant, is capable of absorbing carbon dioxide on a greater scale compared to other plants. Moreover, this wonder fiber directly meets the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th targets of sustainable development goals. 
the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, visited the Sonali bag stall on March 6, 2019 at the National Jute Day. She acknowledged commercializing the biodegradable and eco-friendly invention as early as possible. In response, Dr. Khan, along with his technical team, made a one-ton capacity film casting machine, which will start production very soon. Jute, the magical plant, being the solution for the plastic pollution and biodiversity problems, still faces some obstacles. If the new polymer or other next generation products are considered for the global well-being, the current production of jute is not enough. Having the help of nature by harvesting the crop and again returning the processed product to nature without any harm to it, rather keeping it safe. We only have one planet to live on and we must take care of it.